All right, we are moving along. We are going to talk uh, adding uh, lineage through the UI. Uh, quick shout out. This is literally like the number one uh, upvoted feature request within our community. Um, last time I looked, we had like over 70 upvotes on it. Um, so super excited that we are making this happen before the end of the year. Chris, I will hand it over to you. All righty. Thanks, Maggie. Yeah, I'm actually was going to talk about that feature request as well. Good segue. All right. Yes, as Maggie said, I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek of the new feature that we're working on and uh, planning to get out to you guys very soon, and that is manual lineage via the UI. Um, just as a little caveat, I will say this is just a sneak peek, um, so expect some styling changes to happen, some finishing touches to be added, uh, but we really wanted to show you guys what we had going on so far and get excited about what's coming soon. All right, so I think most of us here are pretty familiar with what Lineage and Data Hub is, uh, but for those that aren't, uh, Lineage is the way that we describe how data flows in and between your systems. So that's upstream and downstreams of different data assets and how things connect to each other in different way. Um, so, sorry, I got a little bit of noise behind me. But uh, previously, the only way that you could describe uh, Lineage in Data Hub is through ingestion pipelines. And whether that be we extract that automatically for you from your source systems or um, you define it to be ingested yourself. Well, we've heard loud and clear that now we want an easier way to define what lineage is in Data Hub, and people want to be able to do that through the UI. Uh, and I'm happy to show you guys today a new way that we can do that. And like Maggie said, I'd like to give a quick shout out for all of you that uh, participate in our feature request board. It really helps us out a lot in prioritizing what we work on and uh, figuring out what the community really cares about. So like Maggie said, this is the number one upvoted feature request. So it's evident that we are listening to you guys. <laughs> cool. So without further ado, let's do a little demo. Why not? Let's jump into it. I'm going to go over here. OK. So uh, for this situation, let's say we have a Postgres data, data set called member. Uh, and I'm planning on doing a data migration for member. So in that situation, I want to know everything that's downstream of me, uh, anything that could be impacted by this data migration. So my first step is to go to the lineage tab of this data set and look at our impact analysis for uh, what could be downstream and what could be impacted. Here, right now, you see there is no data, which is kind of sad. Uh, and that's because right now we don't automatically extract lineage for Postgres. However, um, I do know that there is something downstream of me, but um, just to show you again that nothing is downstream in our uh, lineage view as well, kind of sad. But yeah, like I said, I know that something is downstream of me. I know there's a snowflake table. Um, so at this point now, we can actually open up a new little menu that says manage upstream, manage downstream. In this situation, I want to be able to manage my downstream lineage. It opens up a new modal. And here, you can see the entity that we're working on. Um, we would be seeing all of the downstreams if there were anything here to show. And then now we can actually add new entities right here with a search bar. So I know the uh, Snowflake table that I care about is called uh, Purchases. So I'm going to lurk for that. I can click Add. And here we go. Purchases is now in our queue to potentially be added as downstream dependencies. You can add many things at once. This is a bulk edit. You can also remove multiple things at once. Uh, nothing's also changed until I click Save Changes. So if you realize you made a mistake, you can remove, cancel, whatever. In this situation, I feel pretty good about purchases being added as a downstream edge. So I'll click Save. And there we go. Purchases is immediately added and available to view in this lineage view. And I can also extend the downstream edges of purchases. And here I can see that it keeps going downstream. And in fact, there's lots of stuff downstream of member. Good thing I added that uh, lineage edge manually. So I can check to make sure everything that's downstream of it before I do any data migrations to see everything that could be impacted. As per usual, I can go back to the entity profile, look at the lineage tab, and I can do impact analysis for downstream. And here you can see everything that is now downstream based on the new edge that I just added manually through the UI. But wait, that's not all. We also have the Manage dropdown here in the Lineage tab, not just the Lineage visualization view. And let's say I realize, shoot, purchases is actually the wrong table. I kind of want to get rid of that and read, undo the work that I just did. Well, you can go in, 
and just remove it simply as that click save and then your lineage will be updated and now you can see updated lineage you got rid of the downstream nothing here in the impact analysis tab as well as nothing here in your lineage view um, this demo is mostly focused on updating what's downstream of you but same thing goes if you want to go in the reverse direction and add things that are upstream of you as well and then with that, I'll go back to the slideshow. So yeah, that was a quick little sneak peek of manual lineage in the UI coming soon to a data hub instance near you. I'll pass it back to you, Maggie. Amazing. Um, there's a ton of love in the chat. Um, this is very clearly like something that folks are very excited about. Um, one thing I do want to call out, we're going to be, so like, like Chris said, this is a kind of like first view of it. Um, we're going to be iterating through some of the um, you know, some of the ways that we're kind of like presenting the information. And one thing that we want to make really clear in, in the UI is helping people understand what was added manually versus what was added uh, uh, automatically or programmatically. Um, that And kind of having like an uh, almost like an audit trail behind it so you can see who added those relationships um, and just, you know, just more transparency into was this something that was automatically detected or is this something that someone actually like went through and, and manually mapped out? Um, so I think those can have very different uh, kind of implications of, of how you consumer kind of act on that um, information. 